Ja, ciao. My family loves them. Rodrigo, Revelio. Hello there. That was dope. <laughs> Revelio. All right, fine. I'll, I'll become in, indivisible. In liberty and justice for all. Gotcha. Revenue. <laughs> How do I get in this in this thing? Revenue. I should in it. So I don't want to get in it. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be Begin. Oh, it's a redhead. Oh, I love you already. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see Professor you. Professor Garlic? Are you dear. kidding me? Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Hmm. Hello. Oh, hello. Class, please welcome marry the me. newest rose in our garden. Please marry me. We do look forward to growing together. Hmm. How thrilling marry this me. is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bone. Marry me. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the malignant bush in my face. known as the mandrake root. Accio. <laughs> The Let's screaming plant can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. I should have just kept it going. Now for our Rodrigo. next task, Revelio. planting Dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word. Accio, Levioso. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Revelio. Hmm. I wonder if Hippogriff's like... I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. Hello, wife. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. 
I'll say. Nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature Mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. Mm -hmm. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Right. Let's see how to balance my star. Revelio. Niffler's fancy or roses. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganwell potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Can I buy more? Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganwell's potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Do you bite? Just, you know, just asking for a friend. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Protego, your duel with Sebastian. Revelio. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Damn right. Oh. Damn fucking right I did. Oh. Here we are. Okay, Home I just take all the Chinese this chomping cabbage. What can I take? I take all this shit. Fuck. Go on. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. How the fuck do I throw a cabbage at it? My tool wheel? I have a tool wheel? Tab. Oh shit! When the fuck did I get these? Alright. Alright, now what? Eat him! Eat him! Oh my god! We can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup. Even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. That's it. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. I was about to say, can I pick them back up? Revelio. Yo, when the can I open up these locks? That's the question, man. I press the sweet bottom. Mm. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. 
I'm eager to learn more. Oh, I'm yeah. glad. Herbology is a bounteous hmm. subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. <sighs> well, I suppose that's everything. Do come, come by for fish. a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Thank you for me. No, to hydrate. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate the uh, follow. Welcome to be an extra ass, and I uh, secretly love you. Mmm. That's her. Sweet bush. Mmm. Fucking love you. That goes for plants as well as friendship. <clears throat> Did I just throw one? I think I did by accident. Oh, or whatever. Excuse me, children. Excuse me. Pardon me. I'm going to uh, be the greatest wizard in this fucking school that I've ever seen. Don't drink water. Okay, I won't drink water. Eat the water. Well, I did just eat a bunch. Y you caught me. If you waited, if you were like, I don't know, a minute or two sooner, I could have made that happen. Alright, where we gotta go now? Where the fuck did you come from? Fucking pull some witchcraft shit right there. Alright, where are we going? Quiz. We gotta go to the quiz. This is. Alright, a 10 potion class. Did I not just. Oh, I got this guy gotta go. 10 potion class. Alright, we're going to potion class. Go. Mmm. Be Rebellion. Someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. No, don't worry about Black the Hogsmeade thing. I took care of you guys. It would make him look. I saw an aura badge on Professor Shaw's desk. I bet he knows more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Who's this? Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? It heals yes, me. Professor Sharp, the Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, oh God, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Just a little. Just a little. Just a little. Go fast, go fast, 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 fast. We got some fucking. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. <laughs> nah. Oh shit, my boy, I gave it to you. Mm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. So steal Come and see me from when you've my, finished brewing. From the people next to me. And we'll see if it was Easy. skill Got or it. luck the first time around. Now what? Can I? Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. My Wigan Weld potion's utter rubbish. 
Wait a second. Professor Sharp said that we My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Where the fuck am I gonna go? Revelio. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yes. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. He's not gonna do butt stuff to prodigy Weasley! If I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Another Wait, Weasley? Are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fooper feather. As what? you'll already be in Sharp's Fooper? office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'll get you the Fooper feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Well prepared. All right, Borgan and Burke to increase the amount of activity outside the owner of your shop hours, particularly in the wee hours and a nice, suspicious delivery and made a shop. Given what we know the shop reputation, okay. Revelio. should not be that color, Miss McDowell. Here's the fwapper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. He's gonna kill us all, isn't he? Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. A potion that enhances the drinker's defense by covering them in adorable rocky skin. Yield one bottle. Still have to buy bottles too? Questions? And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Again! Oh! Mel! Dragon dog! What happened? <laughs> well done. Mel. Fucking trash, bro. Learn how to fucking be a wizard, would you? What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be point for Gryffindor again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. Easy. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I don't know what you mean. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. So where the fuck do I do it? I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Wasn't expecting that literally to blow up in my face. It was rather brilliant, though. I bet Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. Ugh, 
My robes are going to reek from Gareth's ink. Fine job brewing your first Wiccan Weld potion. But there are many potions yet to learn. This is going to be a busy year. No curse, you a girl. Portrait what in you our want? common room wants to talk to you. Follow your lead to the books, missing pages. Go to the goblin camp. Espeliamus! Let me go in there. Let me go in Espeliamus. It's Eldritch Diggory. He used to be the minister for magic, I think. Open. Open. Go. Go, 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 go. Mm -hmm. Revelio. Uh, what do you want? You've been asking for like 14 years. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? No. Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Why? Yeah, why? Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst. That no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. Okay. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Nope. Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. That sounds gross. I haven't much interest in a game that sprays you with odors. Only if you lose, which I never do. Or at least, not often. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. So you want me to find them? <sighs> Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. No. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. That sounds so wrong and I don't know. <laughs> we are going to quest. We are going to learn. All right, that one. Fuck your shit up. Let's go Hufflepuff, I see you. Or now what? That was fucking weird. We just had an entire class and now I didn't learn any goddamn thing. Of everything I had Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Now fuck that power. Spell casting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Yeah, three, two, one, go. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Hell yeah, I want to spell your homicide, bitch. Measles! <laughs> Here's a spell your homicide. Expel your You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expel your homicide. 
He's fucking weaponless right now. He's weaponless. He's got nothing. He's got nothing. Where do you think you're going, bitch? Oh, look at this combo, though. Never stopping. Alright. Good talk. Rebellion. Right. That was it. That was. That's all I had to do, huh? I want to feel. I want to say like something good's gonna happen. To the way. Elridge Diggory. Yeah, cause I know where fucking going. No. How nice to see you, my young friend. Here, where are we going? Can we gotta go all the way to the side of the map? Oh, hey T, here we go. Revelio. You wanted to see me, sir? Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself. So few students know who I am these days. Heldridge Diggory. Former Minister for Magic and founder of the Aura Recruitment Program at your service. I believe you can help solve Wasn't decades Diggory of the murder. Who died in, thanks to that um, book you Goblet found, and Fire? in particular, it's missing pages. How do you know about the book and the pages? We portraits hear more than you might suspect, and most of us can keep a secret. So, what say you? Surely a Hufflepuff such as yourself would be inclined to help seek long overdue justice. This could be right up my street. Even we Hufflepuffs enjoy a good mystery. Glad to hear you are up to the challenge. Yeah. Plus, I believe you will benefit from this undertaking. My great niece, Helen Thistlewood, can provide you with details. She's retired now, but was a skilled aura in her day. And the unsolved murder of which I speak was her case. I often visit my portrait in her home, in the nearby hamlet of Upper Hogsfield. Shall I tell her to expect you? Yeah. I shall go and see her right away. Brilliant. With what I suspect is your knack for hard work and her keen mind, both mysteries may be solved sooner than you think. Thank I you, sir. See you there. Soon, I hope. Alright. We teleport. Rebellion. Yeah, my boy is booking it. So I'm confused. Where am I supposed to be going? Oh, so I could just teleport here then. Here, let's just teleport here. Here I come. Why well, I don't have one of these? I didn't even know that was a button for a good bit. Alright. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. Actually, I actually, see you again. Oh, those shits are ugly. I look like a fucking wizard now. A real wizard, a wizard from the wizarding world. Yeah, what sell? can I do for you today? So, so, so. Hmm. 
Alright, let's see. No, I need to go to the other guy. The other guy who gives you... I hope to see you again. Farewell. Let's see. I I'm right here, right? I think I gotta go there. The herbalist area. Hello, be with you in a bit. How about I uh, just do it right now? Now you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Maybe it wasn't this one. Where the fuck was it? No can say I don't keep a stack shelf. So I need to go. No, it was the. Landers, Tom Scroll. Yeah, I think it was this one, right? Yeah, I think it was that one. Expelling all the sacking. Oh, but why are you not going in? Go on. Revelio. Wondering when I'd see you again. Conjuring. Belk. She said, I think this is the stuff I was looking for. So she dropped in station unlocks. Drop in station, station. Plant byproduct. Dung. Material refiner. Pot and table with a large pot strong cram. On table with two medium pots. Pot and table. Two medium pots used to use pots to grow all sorts of magical plants. Got it. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Yes. Revelio. Glasses are hideous, though, but yeah. 
Okay, let me get uh Let's get going. On the road again. On the road again. Revelio. Central Hoffa Pox and support craft relates to the sound of the village of Hogsmeade. Revelio. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? I see a thing, my Bobby. The fact that it's alive and moves fuck creeps the shit out of me. Revelio. Bitch. Your blood's on Ranrock's hands. Revelio. Never seen a sword like it. Levioso. Yeah. Accio. Ah. Incendio. Ah. Oh, I'm a fuck, nerd. <laughs> Cheesy souls. Revelio. Incendio. Yeah. Revelio. Hermit Trace, Ice Rare Scotland, Mace. Dark Wizard, Nana, Dina, Blackwood. Yeah, cool. Pretty sure there's a lot to read for that. Revelio. 
Hello. I'll take it. This must be the place Minister Diggory mentioned. Helen lives around it. Ah, here Revelio. You are. I'm pleased to see you took my advice. This has been some time since I've heard from her. I think in the ministry we continue to think of you and hope that you're doing well. We have been going to peace with your decision to become an aura. The dangers of the sense you must live your life and follow your path. You're right. doing so in service of the wizardly world. I am proud of you. You must have formed your something that I may find you curious. It seems to trust taking up the residence in the train tunnel. You mean I gotta fucking kill a train tunnel troll? Revelio. A train troll? Yep, there's a lot of reading. Hello there, sister. Madam Thistlewood. I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. Your uncle. He sent me to speak to you. I'm pleased you came. Uncle Eldritch believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very well. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, Anne was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. It was in large part due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of Anne, I think. That sounds terrible. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's Correct. alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. And you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? If my great uncle is to be believed, yes. At least that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Yep. Anne insisted that Jackdaw had asked her to follow the map with him, but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Odd way to woo a girl. She swears she never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jackdaw's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Without Jackdaw's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was sent to Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's spurious testimony. I don't understand. What can I do to help? I believe Anne may have solved the first puzzle by now. But after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former self. Mm -hmm. She won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust. And she trusts no one. If you, a student with a connection to the pages, like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne, she might reveal new information. I've always wanted to see Azkaban. Yeah. Count me in. I suppose it has a peculiar appeal to some, but it can be terribly disconcerting. Fortunately, being a retired aura has its benefits. We can apparate right to her. I've escorted ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. Never a student, I'll admit, but I will keep you safe. Very well. Let's go. Steady yourself. We'll apparate together. Don't worry. I've never splinched anyone. Do take care now. And tread lightly in that horrible place. We'll be there in but a moment. <laughs> 